Hey everyone, as you can see, I have one of your uh, favorite people next to me. <laughs> Cormac is here because yeah, he was at the Forbidden Journey Retreat oh, yeah. uh, as a participant, but also uh, quite a big help to myself and Christina. And the retreat overall was a massive success. Uh, I think, well, definitely from my perspective, but I think everyone there felt the same Absolutely. way. Absolutely. Yeah. And Absolutely. what I wanted to offer you guys today was to have Cormac share an incredible healing that he received during his journey uh, that has completely blown everything out of the water for you and yeah. what you thought was possible. Yeah, for sure. I was totally unprepared. And so why don't you just let the, the audience know what it was like for you, the retreat overall, but then let's go um, into that healing. Overall, uh, initially, okay, you hear, we have been hearing about the uh, Forbidden Journey retreat for quite some time, and I wasn't really paying too massively a huge amount of attention to it for the simple reason being, I thought I'm not gonna be there. Up until three weeks ago, when an extraordinary <laughs> opportunity arose and suddenly, I'm going, I'm going. So I thought, okay, I'm going to take this so seriously. I'd done a lot of preparation at home. And even then, it was no way enough for what was going to happen at the retreat. The care, the attention, the intention uh, was absolutely shocking. The amount of, uh, how do you say, like we were going through each day, we were doing something very significant in how to prepare you prepare ourselves for the journey that we were about to do i thought i had my intention absolutely correct and easy i was not prepared for what it actually let everyone means. know what your intention was because everyone it's important <laughs> that you have an intention going into your journey so that the energies yeah. there are guiding you through that so yeah. what <laughs> so can i just share initially right the people meeting the people there was yes. extraordinary yes. beautiful beautiful people we're all getting to know each other, all beginning to mix together and share with each other. But wow, it's like we all parachuted straight out of the same aircraft at the exact same time and went so deep, so deep, so fast, weren't even asked to. It literally was what each one of us done together. It just seemed to be the most natural thing to do because we were all there for profound reasons. Mine was because I felt that so many things had happened with my own life experience that I wanted to innocently, yeah. Return to, <laughs> return to God's true blueprint. And that might help me to just shift some energies. And uh, I had no idea what I had to so, of the universe. So yeah, so I had to help <laughs> you refine your intention a little bit. And a few people yeah. I had to do this for, because they were just yeah. using a single word or whatever. We needed to turn it into an actionable intention. Um, and yours was to restore your God-given blueprint. Yes, yeah. <laughs> So innocent, Which right? seems easy. so simple and easy, and then yeah. you don't realize what actually has to happen in order for that to yeah. occur. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, had, I had a bit of trepidation, of course, mm -hmm. about uh, Mushroom Journey uh, for the simple reason. I mean, it's unknown. It's unknown to me. I wasn't really sure about it either. My gosh, I, I am so humbled and grateful that I actually done this because I have had the most extraordinary healing. I went through a what I could only call a galactic rinser. And coming out the other side of it, the huge thing for me was that I have had post-trauma for like 20 years. I thought I'd actually dealt with it and I was pretty okay. Mm -hmm. And then through this journey, the whole left-hand side of my field, which had been damaged from my cranium, shifted so much that I can actually feel the whole left-hand side of my field. I never could have conceived that that was even possible. So let the audience know because suffering from like this PTSD yeah. uh, and PTSD is something gets healed a lot through these types of journeys. Yes. Uh, let just briefly let the audience know what happened to you so and how many years ago it was. Oh, wow. That's easy. 26th of March, 2004. I was on the street on the way home. I had been out, I had been clubbing and uh, a very nasty entity took me from behind with a hammer and broke the side of my skull, broke my mastoid, left me paralyzed and left me dying on the street. And uh, the next thing I knew, I was uh, in a realm which is I can only describe as, describe as the most astonishing, beautiful realm. That's the next thing I saw. And two voices, one voice was saying, it's okay, Cormac, you can let go now. 
and the other one was saying, get up, get up. So I heard that one and then I found myself in a hospital that uh, I was paralyzed on the left hand side of my face and short term memory was gone. I was a mess, a total mess. Yet I'm what's called a runner. I signed myself out of hospital in the most horrific state. I didn't know they were actually waiting for a helicopter to come get me. Oh gosh. They couldn't take me by road. I was so fragile. But the following night I was out driving my car thinking, I'm fine. That's how insane. That's how insane it so, was. So you lost your hear. You lost a certain amount of hearing. Yes, I did. On your left side. Diminished hearing through a broken eardrum uh, that was perforated. My skull was broken in two places, and uh, yeah, my uh, balance was totally gone. Short-term memory was gone. I couldn't remember who I was. I'm looking at people that I know, and then trying to figure out. Oh shit! That's that's my family. Mm -hmm. uh, that was over days and weeks, and that was kind of. Uh, unnerving to say the least. So uh, yeah, um, it was right after that that I found myself in a different frequency and seeing other things. Yes. Yeah, that's a, do you want that story? No. no. <laughs> Not for now. <laughs> Not for now. <laughs> if I okay. let you go, go forever. <laughs> I will because I just, I, I just ramble, I uh, like beg your um, pardon. Her. But yeah. so just so the audience knows, so you have, this has happened in what year was it? That was in 2004 and here we are nearly like 19 20, years almost, later. Yeah, almost 20 yeah. years later and you received an incredible healing in another realm. Oh, Nikki, I, have, I, I haven't experienced this joy in like 19 years. 19 years. It's like, what? I've, I've, I, I, I was stuck for words because like Nicole can now walk on the left hand side of me and speak and I can feel her energy field. I can, I can feel. And that's, uh, that's quite shocking. I know. That is shocking. Um, do you want to share with them what you saw happening on the left side? Like, how did it oh, all come in? Okay, I, um, I found myself, okay, for me, the journey was, I'm very high vibration. I find that the journey was very, very intense mm -hmm. and uh i'm in and out of con this conscious place here i'm interdimensional i mean totally interdimensional i am seeing all sorts of energies and it, it was highly overwhelming so much so i was laid down for quite a lot of the journey um i just for an instance right just say like i'm i'm totally lost then nicole will enter into my field because that's what they were doing nicole and christina were taking excellent care of everyone in the room and I'm seeing this face in front of me and I'm like, are you real? And what I'm seeing is just pure golden face. And I'm realizing, I've seen this. This is actual celestial. This is the way I was seeing both Nicole and Christina. So uh, that was quite astonishing. And um, I found that in those moments that after one of these moments where both Nicole had come around, Christina had come around, I'm laying down on the floor again, my eyes are closed. And I sense these beings around the left-hand side of my skull. And it's like they're going at me with a load of instruments. I couldn't even describe what they were, but I felt it intensely all here on the left-hand side of my cranium where all the damage was done. And I felt energy being pulled out of the left field of, of my body. Of course, we're not really sure when it's happening. It's only afterwards we're <laughs> yes. like, did that happen? I know. Did that happen? And uh, then finding the proof as in the living proof, as in the conversation we're having right now. Nicole is now on my left. Oh, that's right. Hello. Oh my gosh. I didn't <laughs> that happened. And the that. last yeah. time we done that, we were the other way around. It's because you were conscious that I needed to hear you I from know, here. I know, I know. And that. you did. Is, I didn't even say you, Well, you woke up the next morning because you didn't know anything the night of. Like, you weren't fully aware. <laughs> no. I didn't know where I was. <laughs> yeah. We I needed, had no idea. We needed Cormac to have a little bit of sleep and wake up the next day. And that's when you realize I can hear on the left side of my. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's just astonishing because the damage that was done, let's just say um, I had to have an operation. Initially, I was told, no hope for you, none. And then the surgeon casually said uh, almost three months later, oh, I can do that. He said, I have no idea how you're alive, but I can do it. So uh, they drilled my skull in three places, decompressed my brain, told me I'll have contusions on my brain for the rest of my life. That's just bruising. But um, hadn't really got much hope that I was gonna make it through the operation. So they asked me to sign paperwork saying, you know, if we, if we screw up, it's not our fault, right? So uh, yeah, I came through and closed my eye for the first time in um, in uh, quite a long time. In months, basically, my eye was locked open because I was paralyzed. So uh, I'd done everything I could, but there was many things that I couldn't do without the benefit of this medicine journey, this guided medicine journey. I am shocked that it's taken so many years mm -hmm. to actually find myself in 19 years of mm -hmm. what, what you wouldn't believe yeah. So um, so it's been 19 
years. Yeah, 19 years. And you have so much happiness. Yeah, a ridiculous amount. <laughs> What's it like for you to have this healing just from a human perspective, uh, like in all the little 3D things like around you and what life has changed now for you? Okay, it's really interesting when you've... Okay, we took a walk yesterday evening. I was actually... Um, I was like, hang on a second, Nicole. Do you see the amount of people that are actually looking as we pass? Yes. Do you see that? That was intense. Our energies were so high, so happy, so vibrant that like, and even today we're out shopping. Like, and you're, you're trying to actually just not pay too much attention, but people are walking by and they're really looking at you. Everyone kept staring at yeah. us, and I was like, it was very noticeable. It wasn't just the odd person. It, it weren't was being subtle. Everyone, and they were. <laughs> Daring, and this is yeah. a park, and we're walking around the lake, yeah. and it was, it was, we just kept walking and doing our thing, don't, don't but we anything, both <laughs> we both noticed, and I really believe that yeah. our frequency has changed so much, has changed so, so much. Well, yeah, and the the I mean, for me, there were so many activations. Like I told you guys, Breckenridge activates me. There's something about the land there, and of course, one of the participants was able to see the shaman who I saw in the water yes. three years ago stand behind me while I did a sage cleansing on I everyone. I was sage cleansing you. Do you remember that significant one? Yes. And that's when she <laughs> saw him behind you. No. Huge. No, you saw him? No, she did. No, but that's not when you were saging me. I was oh saging my gosh. her. So Too many things happened. Yeah, it, it, shocking. It, a lot happened. Shocking. And, and then during the journey, which I won't go too much into because I'm going to have Christine on here as well. We're going to talk to you guys. Love her. But I mean, awesome. I felt completely activated mm. an hour before the actual journey. Yeah. We were all walking out on a hike. And as soon as we got back to the house, boom, my guide team, my whole guidance team just opened me up and were started pouring all this energy into me. And my head felt like it was going to explode. And I'm like, oh my God, I don't know what just happened. But what was so cool was that I was able to actually enter into the medicine frequency with them without taking what they took. And so it was, I was felt like I was just riding it and I was able to really enter into all these different things. And I'll go into more detail with Christine when I have her on, but this is, you're just one example of the incredible healing that's possible through these journeys. If you're yes. feeling called to it, if it feels right for you. And everyone there had such profound, deep, everyone. deep journeys. Everyone. I mean, like even the reference to it is even after the journeys when we were going through more protocols and play. We had so much play. <laughs> oh my gosh. The painting was shocking. It was beautiful. Pulling cards. Mm, yes, pulling we, cards yes, like, that was shocking we all everyone. got to pull the cards and Nicole let us touch the cards Nicole let us touch the cards I never let anyone touch my never cards never let anyone <laughs> touch the cards so precious that was beautiful so we got to touch the cards and everyone was literally close, pretty much everyone was closing their eyes and putting their hands over the cards and taking the one that seemed to feel from their heart and everything was so succinct bang mm -hmm. on very specific to them even the uh, the water oh the water the, the bit, last, the, the bath, final ceremony, the, the, the ceremony, the water ceremony. Yes, we were all in the water, and Shocking. the um, this is how powerful the energy was for us at the retreat, because everyone completely submitted to their own healing journey and went so deep, especially that morning yeah. with the whale yeah. um, meditation. <gasps> the whale meditation, people. If you get the opportunity <laughs> for it, take it. We had no medication. We had nothing. We had cacao. We lay down on no. our. It was all just straight into meditation. <laughs> I went somewhere I'd never thought con conceivable. And I've done Nicole's uh, through alchemy or meditations. This one took me with a whale. I'm like, I felt her on the left. Oh my gosh, she was on the left hand side of me as she pulled away. So that, that healing oh, was already yes, coming. It was already activating, yeah. It's already coming. I she could already tell, um, and Christina and I will tell you guys more about it, but I could tell about Shivering. there was a certain point in the meditation where everyone went deeper. <laughs> and she felt it, I yeah. felt it, and the whale ceremony was so oh. important to prepping you guys yeah. for your actual journey later that day. But it was astounding, and um, you know, if you're considering uh, something of this magnitude where you feel like you want to come for a few days uh, through a retreat and do this kind of healing, 
uh, just know that I will be offering uh, more retreats starting next year. Christine and I are already planning. Everyone at the retreat wants to come again. We're, going, we're all going back. Yeah, it, it, it was are. such a beautiful family. I mean, yeah. everyone who came there truly was the right ingredient for the most perfect experience of this first retreat. I, yeah. I'm so blessed for each and every one of you who came. Um, it was beyond my wildest expectations. Everyone just opened up so much. I was so proud of the healing journey that everyone took and it wasn't easy for everyone. It was very difficult at times. There was a mm -hmm. lot of vulnerability uh, and there were a lot of tears, but there was also a lot of joy. And Huge amount of joy. Yeah, and oh, just tell them, you had a Kundalini. You're So I told you guys, <laughs> there's gonna be a Kundalini activation. You were the only guy at the retreat. I was the, the only guy there. And and it had to be me. I think, I, I don't know, I don't want to speak, but I think there was someone else who, because I saw this, I saw her and she was exuding what felt to me like a Kundalini activation, but you were like, yeah, even yesterday he's like, so I had these feelings, what does this mean? And I'm like, oh, you had that during your journey? And he's like, yeah, and I'm like, you got Kundalini activation. <laughs> this is like back here at the house, safe, everything is done, everything is finished, sitting outside, having a bite to eat and it's like um can I ask you something about you know and that's how this came about and I'm like wow okay that that happened I'm shocked uh that and so many other things happened come on seriously the rebirth at the end like the baptism the, the raven all, the, came in the, overhead okay, everything was speaking wow. to us the sky was speaking us to the wind the trees the rain the storm came the in the sun We've the had moon days everything of sunshine. everything yeah. I have never experienced yeah. such a deep profound connection to all of the elements around yeah. us and it was just and it was coming in and speaking at the right moments of just Nicole reading from her card and saying <sighs> like a leaf going down the stream and all the aspens blow straight into the pool of rain all the aspens <laughs> and the leaves just blow onto the like, water you and uh, okay. Sarah were just like I heard you guys go oh my god <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then it was like Siobhan was the first one under the water and she's like got a Native American in her DNA and the thunder just went Yes. Just as she went under the water, and it happened again oh, and again it's and just again. Something it I, was so ethereal. I, I will never forget this couldn't make it experience. Up. It was Shocking. so profound, and yeah. um, there were things in there that I could never have planned or prepared for. No. It was just the energies divinely orchestrating themselves because of each and every one of us yeah. being so willing to show up in the ways that we all did. and. So to each and every one of you who did come, I love you guys so much. You have such a special place in my heart and uh, we will always be connected through this experience. And for anyone out there who might be thinking of it, just know right now I'm planning on the next one in six months in the month of April or May. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll definitely be doing two next year. So just keep that in mind uh, because obviously there's only a certain amount of space mm -hmm. <laughs> and it Turns out that many of you are, are coming again. So, um, if there's any men, yes, feel like they want to go if there. Any men, we'd love to have don't you. Don't hold yourself no, back. No, don't. Seriously, we I mean, needed Cormac's energy there. The male grounding energy was so important for all the women there. So, men, don't hold back uh, if you're interested in coming. You will have. I promise you. You'll you'll think you'll prepare. You will be so taken care of. You will be so loved. You will be so considered. Yet. When it happens, it's going to be mind-blowing. It will be mind-blowing, mm -hmm. and it will be so healing. Yeah. It's extraordinary. Yes. No, well done, you. Oh, thank I'm you. I'm Christina. I'm Christina, well, who's going to be on here <laughs> later this week. Uh, yeah. Her and I will record together. Yeah. Uh, she's still up in Breckenridge enjoying the mountains. And, um, jealous. I know, so oh, jealous. jealous. But uh, stay tuned for tomorrow night's podcast with Alyssa Rushton. We had an incredible conversation. She's one powerful woman. And I can't wait for you guys to tune into that. Also, if you need any assistance in your healing journey, uh, please uh, reach out to me through my website to book services. Remember, I am now offering the 2024 Astrological Soul Alignment um, chart and reading. Uh, that is now available. I'll leave the link for that in the description below. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you very soon. Love you too. <laughs>